Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to our 215th and 216th FCI All Breed Championship Dog Shows. Uh, we, we are here live at the PCCI Activity Center in Marikina. So our show uh, for this month is a two days event, back to back, uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday. And uh, our schedule for this morning is uh, will be under the judging of Miss Maribel C which is the president of the Cavite Canine Club Incorporated. Uh, she's the president of the uh, Cavite Canine Club Incorporated, just to give you... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, just to correct, uh, she's the former president of the Cavite Canine Club Incorporated. Well, anyways, uh, her husband, Mr. Eddie, uh, Eddie C, is the president of the uh, Cavite Canine Club. <laughs> just to give you uh, an information about our judge for Ring 1, uh, that's our very own Miss Maribel C. In the year 1981, she has acquired her first Shih Tzu and in 1983, she and her husband established Sunnyside Kennel. They have been involved in breeding, showing and handling Shih Tzus with great success. Among them are owner handled and the first Philippine Grand Champion Shih Tzu in the country. That's, that's Philippine Grand Champion... That's the Philippine Grand Champion Ben, which is the import in dam in Japan. Owner handled the, the 1986 to 1989 Top Shih Tzu and number two Top Dog in 1987. She has been handling and showing dogs overseas since the year 1990. Among the places she she has handled are Thailand, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Canada, and USA. At the American Shih Tzu Club National Specialty in Minnesota, that's in the U.S. Uh, she's the only Filipina who, who have handled and won at the Canadian Nationals in the year 1993. Aside from Shih Tzu, uh, their kennel has involved in showing and breeding other breeds among them are German Shepherd Dogs, Dobermans, Rottweilers, Pekingese, Dachshunds, Golden Retrievers, Maltese, Chow Chow, Yorkie, and the Belgian Malinois. She has served as the PCI director and has chaired the rules and regulation and the member of the membership committee. She was the past president of the Cavite Canine Club Incorporated. She she is a licensed PCI uh, or FCI ring steward since the year 1995. She got her first license for Shih Tzu Breed in the year 2000, and she is a she is a PCCI, FCI, and AKU International Old Breed Judge. She has been all uh, she 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 can judge old breeds at championship level. She can award CASIB and challenging certificates to old breeds or groups. She has been judging in Australia, Canada, Japan, Thailand, Russia, Indonesia, South Africa. Malaysia, Singapore, New Zealand, China, India, Sri Lanka, and Ireland. She has judged all over the Philippines and Asia. Her future assignments are in Canada and, and Australia, which is the European Dog Show, and yeah, that's it. So uh, for this morning, we have three groups to be judged. We have three groups to be judged. Uh, those were uh, the Golden Retrievers, we have the, the, uh, the Set Hounds, uh, we have first the Retrievers, Flashing Dogs and Water Dogs, that's our first group for Ring 1, and then we have the Set Hounds and Related Breeds. And then lastly for this morning we have, I'm sorry, we have we have the Terriers and then last will be the Pointing Dogs. So uh, all in all we have four groups to be, uh, to be judged this morning. Uh, so Ring 2 naman, uh, we will cover up We'll cover it up later this afternoon. That's uh, we have Judge Miss Elaine T. Uh, they're having the Jack Russell right now, but our schedule is yung Ring One lang muna. The entire judging ng Ring One for this morning, and then this afternoon, the entire judging ng Ring Number Two, which is that's Miss Elaine T. 
So uh, to give you a summary of our uh, entries for this morning, we have the American Cocker Spaniel. What entry for that? Uh, on your screen right now, that's the Labrador Retriever. We have 15 entries for the Labradors and one entry for the Clumber Spaniel. And lastly, for that group, uh, we have 22 entries for the Golden Retrievers. Right after that will be the uh, Set Hounds and Related Breeds. We have a total number of uh, 9 entries for the Beagle. And uh, next group will be the Terrier. We have 1 entry for the Fox Terrier, 12 entries for the Jack Russell. 8 entries for the Norwich Terrier and 2 entries for the Scottish Terrier. We also have Sky Terrier and Welsh ter Terrier as well as the Yorkshire Terrier which is isa lang entries nila. So a total number of 20, 26 entries for the Terrier group and then lastly we have only we have one entry for the Pointing Dogs which is the Brittany Spaniel. So uh for those who are watching right now, sa mga exhibitors na gustong pumunta dito, we have our professional phot photographer which is, as you can see dun sa likod, that is Mr. Chris Chu. So, uh, for those who would like to book your uh, photographs sa inyong mga dogs, uh, he's available here uh, just today and tomorrow. Uh, kung gusto nyo kuha na ng professionally taken, uh, you can book him or you can ask me, you can send me a DM on my Facebook. Also, you can uh, ask the registration section when you come here dito sa ating show site. Once again, uh, we have Mr. Chris Chu. Uh, we have Mr. Chris Chu dito sa atin, available as a professional photographer ngayong araw. So, uh, for those who are watching, I hope uh, you will share and like our uh, live stream as well as meron tayong uh, vlog na kaka-upload lang which is yung previous FCI show the judge is Mr. Chito Ilagan for those who would like to scan it nandiyan din naman sa ating YouTube channel uh, yun and then also I would like to plug uh, our uh, first grooming competition which is uh, which is to be held Metro Clark Pampanga. There you go, still waiting. Ayan, going back, this that's the first PCI grooming fun match competition. And we have a lot of entries to be uh to be oh, we, we have a lot of activities to follow for this coming year for the grooming competition. Going back to the show, we have the puppy. I think that's the puppy for the uh, Labrador. And ayun, for those who would like to uh, join the grooming competition, please feel free to send us an email or do call our office uh, at 8721-8345 as well as you can ask me directly. Uh, this is Karwina Magdulis. You can search my name on Facebook and uh, the morning led to assist you with that matter. And also, uh, once again, uh, sa lahat ng gusto ng picture na kanilang dogs professionally, you, you can search naman yung, out, yung ating uh, guest photographer for today. Uh, search, search him on Facebook, Mr. Chris Chu. It's available. Uh, send me a DM if you would like to have your dogs na picture professionally. And of course, uh, yun. Yun lang siguro for this morning. And I'll be right back siguro sa group competition na and I hope ma-enjoy nyo yung ating live stream. Maraming salamat and good morning once again.
Hi everyone, so it's me again, once again. Uh, on your screen, that's the Golden Retriever. I'd like to make a special shout out to our one of the commentator, uh, the commentators at uh, Doc Jonathan, jo Doc, good, good morning. Thanks for supporting the live stream. Also, would like to make a special shout out to Mom Rose Kang, she's watching right now. Uh, <clears throat> What you can see on the screen right now is the Golden Retriever, just to give you a history of that particular breed. Uh, <clears throat> the most important name uh, uh, in the early history of the Golden Retriever is Dudley Joribanks, the first Lord Tweedmouth, who developed the breed in Scottish Highland during the reign of Victoria. For the 50 years uh, between uh, 1840 and 1890, Tweedmouth kelp sculptures records the breeding affected to create an ideal gun dog for use at his estates in the highlands. Tweedmouth wanted a dog suited to the rainy climate and rock terrain of the area, so he crossed his yellow retriever with a breed that is now extinct. The Tweed, a water spaniel, uh, Irish, setter, set, Irish setter, and bloodhound were also added to the mix. Through several generations of clever breeding, an admiring historian wrote Tweedmouth created a consistent line of exceptional working retrievers. With a little more refinement after Tweedmouth's time, the Golden Retriever came forth Oops, so uh, <clears throat> going back through several generations of clever breeding and admiring historian wrote Tweedmouth created a consistent line of exceptional working troopers with a little more refinement after Tweedmouth's time the golden retriever came forth as an enduring gift to dog kind from a hot happy ar aristocrat the Golden was first seen at the British Dog Show in the year 1908 and good specimens of the breeds began arriving in America by way of Canada at about the same time. Sports hunters appreciated the breed's utility, show, show fanciers were enthralled by their beauty and dash, and all were impressed by the Golden's sweet, sensible temperament. The Golden Retriever was admired from the beginning of its history in America, but the breed's popularity really took off in the year 1970s. The era of President Gerald, Gerald Ford and his beautiful Golden Retriever named Liberty. What to expect uh, about the health of the uh, Golden Retrievers? Uh, Goldens are generally the health, healthy dogs and responsible and responsible breeders will screen their breeding stock for health conditions including elbow and hip dysplasia, eye conditions such as juvenile cataracts and pigmentary ovitis, and uh, progressive re <coughs> retinal uh, atrophy and certain heart disease, including subvalvular aortic stenosis. The golden ears should be checked quickly for signs of infections and the teeth should be brushed often. Uh, goldens heavily shed their thick water repellent double coat once or twice a year and they also shed more moderately on a continuous basis. Most of the time, a good brushing with a slicker brush once or twice a week will remove much of the dead hair before it has a chance to fall out into your furniture. During times of heavy shredding, these brushing sessions turn into daily affairs. Baths help to loosen the dead hairs, but the dog must completely dry before brushing begins. Otherwise, Goldens only need occasional baths to keep them clean. As with all breeds, the Goldens nails should be trimmed regularly. Like most sporting breeds, Golden, the Golden Retrievers need plenty of daily exercise. A Golden who doesn't get enough exercise is likely to engage in undesirable behavior. Goldens make great companions in long runs and bike rides, although consultation with a vet is recommended before starting strenuous or high-impact activities that might cause stress to the dog's bones and joints. 
many goldens happily get their uh, exercise in hunting trips or a field trial as well as by participating in canine sports such as agility and agility obedience and tracking Uh, as with all breeds, uh, early socialization and puppy training classes are recommended. Gently exposing the puppy to a wide variety of people, places, and situations between the ages of 7 weeks and 4 months will help the Golden develop into a well-adjusted, well-mannered adult. Puppy training classes are as part of the socialization process and help the owner learn to recognize and correct by bad habits that may, that may develop. Obedience, training strengths, and, and other bonds between the dog and, the, and then the owner is recommended. Golden, goldens are outgoing, loyal, and eager to do with your bidding, which, make, which makes them very easy to train. So when it comes to the nutrition, the high-quality dog food, appropriate for the dog's age, will have all the nutrients the breed needs. Some Goldens have become overweight, so watch your dog's calorie consumption and weight level. If you choose to give your dog treats, so do in moderation. Treats can be important aid in training, but giving too much can cause obesity. Give table scraps, uh, give table food sparingly, if at all, especially avoiding cooked and bo cooked bones and foods with high fat content. Learn about which human foods are safe for dogs and which are not. Check your vet if you have any concerns about your dog's weight or diet. Uh, once again, we are still here at the PCCI Activity Center in Marikina. For those who would like to come, it's open for everyone as well as... Uh, for those who would like to register their dogs, it's, the, it's also available here. Our registration is open. Uh, for those who would like their dogs uh, listed, for the unregistered dog, it's open. For those who uh, for microchip, we have vets available, so it's for free if you would like to uh, have the microchip. So if you have questions, comments, or if you have any concern, you feel free to comment your uh, suggestions on our comment section on the uh, right side or at the bottom part of your screen. And still, I would like to inform everyone that Mr. Chris Chu, a photographer uh, or official photographer, uh, is available here now. So if you would like your dogs to have professionally uh, Photograph, uh, do send us an email or send us a message, or you can comment here's at the uh, comment section for us to coordinate. There you go. So, uh, for tomorrow's schedule, uh, let me check and just give you a short uh, summary. We, our group for tomorrow, we have the spits and primitive types, the sheep dogs, cattle dogs, we have the pincher and snozzer, as well as the dachshunds. And then right after that will be the best in show. Uh, yung ating live streaming will be uh, available up until the best in show competition tomorrow. So uh, just to give you again a heads up, uh, yung ating kukuning uh, live streaming for this morning will be... Uh, Kay Miss Maribel C. And then in the afternoon, kukuha na natin ng coverage yung judging ni uh, Miss Elaine T. Uh, once again, for those who are asking, uh, yes, it's open forever for those who would like to come here. Uh, if you have questions, uh, feel free to uh, message in our uh, Comment section, Jan. The side. So, uh, for those who are was asking, uh, how, what to do sa aso nila if they do have an unregistered dogs like uh, 
the dam and then the sire has no paper at all. So uh, the PCCI, meron tayong listing program for that. So uh, kung bago yung lineage ng aso is uh, we'll start from the dog itself. So how to process and how to do how to uh, how to register. So the first thing that you must do is to fill up the breed listing application form which is also available on our website. Or you can uh, send us an email if you would like to request for a copy of the form. Our email is info at pcci.org.ph so, so right after that, once you fill out the form, uh, the PCCI will secure the inspection of the dog for evaluation by the judge who is licensed for the breed. So uh, right now, due to pandemic, we're ex we are accepting an online listing application. So just take a photo of your dog, front view, and then the side view. So that would be enough for the inspection. So just to give you a uh, heads up, the license judge may approve or disapprove the application. So it depends on the uh, on the photographs or it depends on the inspection talaga if the dog will be approved or disapproved. So if the application is approved, the dog will require to have either tattoo or microchip identification. But mostly, uh, the PCCI, uh, we, we have our own microchip. So uh, if the dog no is without microchip, we are uh, technically uh, adding the microchip fee sa inyong assessment. So right after that, uh, the, P the dog will then be issued with the PCCI listing certificate. So uh, our fee, our fees natin is the listing fee is 560 plus with the microchip, if walang microchip yung dog nyo, that's worth 300 pesos. And also, uh, the owner or the owners must be a PCCI member, must be an active PCCI member. Uh, also, we have 150 for the LBC because uh, when sending the documents back to you, we don't, uh, we don't uh, offer uh, pick-up registration due to this pandemic. And then, ayun, uh, the certificate will be, uh, will be delivered to you, to your address. Uh, so, what are the benefits and disadvantages of, the, of a listed dog? So uh, the uh, uh, no, uh, the fourth generation of the listed dog will get full and will be entered records in the PCI stat book. So it was just like um, if yung dog nyo kaka-register nyo, that's the first generation. Pag nanganak, second and then so far and so on. And then makuha natin yung fourth generation which is that's the that's the one who is to be recorded in the PCI stat book. So next is uh, your unregistered dog may be used as a foundation of your breeding program. The PCCI will be able to maintain the database of the listed breeding records, breed, breeds including breeding records, stud records, tran uh, own, transfer of ownership history, microchip identification numbers or tattoo numbers, the PCCI can generate a pedigree history of the listed breeds which is essential to develop and improve your breeding program. And then lastly, listed dog can participate in performance events like agility, obedience trials, fly ball, and other non-traditional -tradi uh, dog sport activities. So uh, that's all for the listing registration.
So uh, everyone, uh, it's me once again and I uh, would like to introduce our next uh, commentator for this show, uh, no other than our very own Mr. Fred Salute. And I forward ko na yung microphone kay sir. Uh, enjoy! Good morning everybody and welcome to this uh, 215th and 216th FCI All Breed Championship Dog Show. Dog shows of the PCCI. It's a wonderful weekend again and we will surely be enjoying uh, the next two days with our very loving pets and companions and show dogs. Now, uh, at this particular point in time for the show, we're we're getting our uh, sweetness overload because uh, our guest judge in this particular ring, Miss Maribel C, who has flown in just recently from her very long and extended vacation in Canada to, to join us for the show, <clears throat> is now um, judging Golden Retrievers. As you know, <clears throat> Golden Retrievers together with Labrador Retrievers are some of the most loving of all the, the breeds uh, of dogs that you can find around. They are known to be very, very <clears throat> good companions, very friendly. Um, they love kids and they, they love to be, <clears throat> excuse me, they love to be with their humans all the time. If there's any drawback uh, with these particular breeds is that given the general scenario of people living in condominium units, now um, these breeds are a bit big for condo living. You know, they are they are considered medium to large breeds, so uh, they're a bit on the the more difficult side when it comes to uh, keeping them in condominium units but if you do have the space they're perfect companion dogs you know, they're very sweet very loving normally easy to keep very friendly so our judge Miss Maribel C is now judging bitches I think uh, and she has four in this particular class It's always uh, it's always fun to watch uh, dog shows because even if more often than not you get to see the same dogs competing, you have different judges and the way these judges interpret the the standards according to what they see best um, would always give you an insight as to what aspect or facet in in a particular breed. Uh, even judge would be taking uh, special attention, would be putting special attention on. So this I think is the winner's pitch. Okay, these are all class winners. So let's see what Mrs. C will put up. Ah, okay. Oh, we would like to sh give a shout out to Mr. Nico Villaroman. He is watching from New Zealand. Wow, that's a long way to go. And mind you, they do have beautiful gun dogs there. I, I had the chance to, to judge there and they have beautiful, beautiful gun dogs. Okay, so good luck. I, I can see uh, in your comment that some of your dogs are entered in the show. Um, hopefully, we, they, they'll get to win their, their points uh, when it's their turn. This is already the 
champions class if I if I'm not mistaken. champion being examined by Mrs. C. Comparatively, I, I can see that there are not as many entries now as they used to be a few a few months ago. I guess because they are now, you know, dog shows almost every weekend. So I guess people are becoming more, a bit more selective in terms of which particular show they would like to enter. But still, you see all these beautiful dogs, new dogs being brought into the ring. And also, um, you see new faces. So a lot of new exhibitors are getting a bite of how it is to compete with their dogs in, in the dog shows. You know, it was uh, just a few, just before the pandemic, where, where, um, where complaining about the number of entries, especially for gold retrievers that uh, in a particular show, sometimes you'll only have two, three, sometimes only one entry, but now, you know, it, it's, it's just like in the olden, the, the old, old days where you will have easily 20 plus entries and and you get to see so many you get to see so many um, beautiful dogs all parading at one single time oh um let me let me give a shout out to our very good friend dr chris cabida chris of course is a uh, jack russell uh, exhibitor and he is a uh, Hababayan down south in Cavite. Very active member of the Cavite Canine Club. I'm sure he is very actively watching the president of the Cavite Canine Club. Well, one of the. I'm not sure whether Maribel is still the president or the vice president. Uh, it's, it's, it's her husband who's now sitting as the president of the Canine Club, the Canine Club in Cavite, which incidentally will be holding their show two weeks, two weekends from now, I think. It's going to be uh, one of those major events because they're going to have six uh, international judges from Asia over a two-day weekend. So it should promise to be very interesting. Now, uh, for those of you who are residing in Central Luzon, or who in one way or another are quite interested in grooming let me let me tell you that there's going to be an up and coming event next weekend in lake lakeshore in pampanga we will have the very first ever pcci fun match for the grooming competition we've talked about this a lot of times and it's only now that we're finally going to have a, a formal grooming competition now um, the, the mechanics of how to go about the, the grooming setup in the Philippines is still being studied it's still being deliberated on but in the meantime we're going to have the very first grooming uh, fun match already so if you'd like to see how uh, grooming competitions are done this will be a good opportunity for you to observe if you would like to find out uh, because you're interested later on to become a groomer or you would like to compete or you would like to get your license or certification then uh, we, we will strongly urge you to come and watch uh, this coming grooming match this will be on the 27th of August um, hopefully it will start around 5 p.m. after the show so please come to the Lakeshore um, Big Tent in Mexico, Pampanga. That will be on August 27, 2022. Please mark your calendars 
This is going to be the first, so this should prove to be very interesting for all of us. Incidentally, if you still want to, to um, register for the competition, I, still, I, I think you still can. The registration is still open, so please get in touch with um, our PCCI, uh, with Carwina or Mr. Felix Makatingrao of the Metro Clark who's doing the coordinate, coordinating work and organizing work for the PCCI. Incidentally, Mr. Felix Makatingrao is a member of the grooming committee of the PCCI, so um, he, he will be our uh, official representative for this particular event. Okay, so Mr. Felix Makatingrao, that's 091-7574-4488 or email at uh, mcpcci at yahoo.com Deadline for entry of submission is it, well, supposedly it was yesterday but I think you can still catch up. You, know, you can still catch up. Um, this is going to be a fun match, so it's a bit more flexible than the usual um, competitions that we used to have. So, if you're still interested, gusto nyo pa pong humabol, pwede pa po kayong humabol uh, para iparehistro ipare yung aso ninyo at saka yung kung sino man yung magko-compete para sa grooming. Now, we would also like to invite everybody to um, watch the 214th FCI show which is covered in vlog number 11. That's, what, that's going to be with the PCCI TV. Um, please watch this so you get to see the highlights of the various winners uh, in this particular show where we had the corporate treasurer, Mr. Chito Ilagan, judging the, the show. So, Miss, Miss C has just finished judging the, the Gold Retrievers. Oh, practically the last class. What is this? Best Philippine born, I think. Some interesting facts that you may want to to, um, to know about the Golden Retrievers is that they were first shown in England at the Crystal Palace show in 1908. So that's more than 100 years ago. And at that time, they were listed as flat coats. Uh, not, not really known as Golden Retrievers, but as flat coat, flat coat Retrievers. Now, the first registration of a Golden Retriever by the American Kennel Club was in November 1925. So that's almost 100 years. So for our Golden Retriever fans, oh, ma magwa 100 years na kayo, one century ago, uh, ang first registration or acceptance into the registry of the American Kennel Club ng Golden Retrievers. So we're having a little bit of a respite here uh, as we're doing the breed. Okay. So we're now doing beagles. This will be scent hounds.
So this is a tricolored beagle. You know, beagle come in uh, two major, well, a few a few color variations, but this is surely one of the most popular, if not the most popular, uh, color variation for the beagle. They come in two major sizes. You have the small version and uh, the standard one. They are supposed to be a pack hounds, meaning the beagles are supposed to be used in hunting as members of a large group, otherwise known or called as a pack. They are supposed to work on the ground for for hours on end, and uh, now they they become one of the most iconic of all the breeds, thanks to Peanuts, which is a cartoon character that was popularized during the, the 80s, I think. It also helped that the Beagle is a very friendly dog, very easy to keep because of its size. Now, um, easy to maintain because of the short coat, very friendly. If at all there's any drawback that probably you can, you can say about the Beagle is that they tend to howl. Being hounds, that's how they communicate with each other. They will howl. Now, for a lot of Filipinos, that's not very good. Most Filipinos um, believe in the superstition that you know dogs should not be howling or baying. Baying dogs uh, tend to bring uh, negative vibes into a home. Uh, notwithstanding that, beagles, beagles are again. Very popular and very competitive in the show green. Now the two main sizes are 13 inches and 15 inches. They basically share the same standard in terms of color, proportion, everything else, except the size. Okay, just the size difference is what makes one. Uh, to be included in the other variety and the other one in the, the, the next variety. They're very happy dogs. <clears throat> Generally, they're very happy dogs. Um, and this is best exemplified by the carriage and uh, the way they work with their tails. Now, if you see the, the tail of the beagle, there's a, a white portion at the tip. That's supposed to be very, very important because when they're hunting, amidst the, the weeds and the brambles, uh, for the hunter, it's the tip of the tail of the beagle which will signify where the beagle is at. So it's very important that that should be carried um, vertically. So that's one of the, the things that uh, a lot of judges would be very um, careful about when judging beagles. You would like to see the tail up. At a beagle that doesn't hold its tail is not showing that it's confident and you know it's happy in the ring. The, it's, it's a very old breed uh, for this particular uh, dog breed quite old. The very first club was uh, formed way back in 18th 
1888. So that's uh, more than 100 years ago. And they also held their first field trial. Now, one good thing about um, the more advanced countries where these breeds were developed is that in addition to holding dog shows or confirmation shows, they, they as a matter of rule, would also help hold field trials. What's, what's a field trial? A field trial is basically a, a test where dogs are expected to show that they can still carry on or perform the function for which the breed was developed. Okay, um, so now we have, this is, what class is this? These are bitches, I can see. Uh, oh, so these are champion females. So they're all uh, title dogs, Philippine champion, Philippine grand champion, or Hall of Fame record holders that are in this particular ring right now. And you can see that uh, all are tricolored. One, was, uh, one is a lemon that's right there at the back. Incidentally, uh, um, for this particular weekend, we have uh, the pleasure of hosting a visit of uh, by Mr. Chris Chu, who is a professional um, dog photographer from Taiwan. So, if any of you would like your dog's photographs to be professionally taken, um, you can actually come over to the PCCI um, um, venue um, either today or tomorrow and have your, your dog pictures taken by Mr. Chris Chu. So you just have to make sure to call ahead of time. Please get in touch with Carwina or with any of the, the PCCI staff so that they can book a particular um, slot for you with uh, the, the photo shoot for your beloved um, show dogs with um, Mr. Chris Chu. Very good photographer. Okay, so continuing on, Mrs. C is still with uh, Champion Beaches. After this, um, she will be doing basically Done 
Linda. Where is she now? Sent hounds. So she still yet to do terriers, right? And pointing dogs. Okay, so she's more than halfway. particular show we only have the eagles no? or the scent hounds and related breeds. We, we do not have the basset hounds and the PBGBs this time. Well, fortunately for the terriers, you still have uh, a number of breeds represented in the terrier group. Okay, she is uh, sending them around uh, and I think she's going to make her final choice. Now, um, any announcements that we need to make, Arwina? Before I, I take a break, a, little, a short break. Okay, she, she has chosen a winner. Now this is the... Best Beach competition. Done with the, uh, it's almost done with the scent hounds. She'll be moving on to the terriers in a short while. This is best breed.
So again, this is the 215th MCI All Breed Championship Dog Show. And you can see the proceedings in ring number one under Miss Maribel C. Later on, <clears throat> later on in the afternoon, we will be showing you ring number two. That will be under Miss Elaine T. Now both Miss C and um, Miss uh, Miss T are the very gracious lady judges of the PCCI. So I, I'll say uh, bye for now. We hopefully will um, catch up uh, sometime this afternoon. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you, you get to be updated as to the latest PCCI happenings.
Hi, good morning. It's me once again. So, uh, meron tayong tanong uh, from Mr. Fryman. Uh, paano po isali yung alaga naming aso? Ano po ba yung mga dapat gawin at hindi dapat, salamat po, hindi dapat gawin? So, uh, Mr. Fryman, first, uh, if paano, uh, paano uh, isali yung mga alaga naming, uh, nating aso? First is, kailangan natin mag-enter. Uh, kailangan natin mag-enter ng ating uh, PCCI registered dog sa ating dog show section. So, beforehand, nagpo-post kami ng uh, advertisement uh, na we have an opening, we have uh, nakaschedule na show sa ating Facebook page. Or you can visit our uh, our website. Available naman to dun yung list of events ng PCCI. So, pwede po kayong magpa-reserve beforehand. I uh, advise you to message our dog show section sa ating landline 8721-8345. Ayun po. So once na confirm na ang inyong uh, registration na meron na kayong slot for the dog show, uh, ayun, antayin nyo na lang po mag-dog show and then uh, pumunta na kayo dito sa site. So when it comes po, ano po yung mga dapat at hindi dapat? Ganun. So when it comes to, uh, ano, when it comes to a specific, depende kasi yun, uh, sir eh, kasi, uh, It depends on the judge, but uh, specifically, we do base, uh, we do base talaga sa FCI uh, standard ng dog. So I advise you to visit the PCCI web, the FCI website or uh, yung breed standard natin na tinatawag. Kasi yun yung parang uh, Bible uh, when it comes to the dogs. Kung paano ba ano ba yung tama, ano ba yung dapat na yung proportionality noon. So I advise you to visit yung ating uh, breed standard kung ano man po yung uh, breed na meron kayo. So, ayun, pag uh, swak yung inyong uh, aso doon sa ating uh, breed standard, and then technically, uh, you're eligible to join the dog show. Kasi sometimes, uh, when you, yung ibang, kasi may mga, hindi na, no offense naman, kasi sometimes may mga dogs na nag enter but uh, nakitaan ng judge na not necessary dun sa criteria dun sa ano nandun dun naman siya sa standard but uh, yung tawag dito uh, yung criteria parang hindi siya ano eh uh, actually I'm not the one supposed to be to explain this one kasi I'm not the judge but uh, ayun I advise you to visit the bridge standard para ano po uh, maging basis ninyo kung ano yung mga dapat at hindi dapat gawin. And then also, I advise you to uh, read more on or uh, study the breed. I advise you to watch dog shows, international dog shows, as well as I advise you to ask yung ating mga exhibitors, mga enthusiasts na matagal lang nang do dog show po.
Uh, this is the best in-group competition ng ating retrievers, water dogs, and flushing dogs. The first uh, on your screen, the white one. That's the Clumber Spaniel. That's, I think, owned by Mr. Nico Villaroman. Uh, in the comments ati dyan sa ating comment section. Uh, we had an inter interview with him uh, sa ating previous vlog. So I advise you to uh, visit our... Uh, Pisa ay vlog upload. So, I think nasa vlog number 9 si sir. I'm not sure. 9 or uh, 10. So, uh, that's the best in group. We have the, uh, the Clumber, Spaniel, uh, American Cocker Spaniel, Golden, and then the Labrador. So our best in group is the uh, Labrador Retriever. Next is the second best in group. It's the uh, Golden Retriever. The third best in group is the uh, American Cocker Spaniel. And lastly, we have the Clumber Spaniel as the fourth best in group. Our next breed is uh, our next class is the best Philippine born uh, in show. Uh, in girl, I'm sorry. So our best Philippine morning show is the Golden Retriever. Next, I think is the uh, yes, the best junior in group. So we only have one entry for the uh, best junior in group. Technically, uh, the judge is automatically awarding it, but I'm. Ah, okay, dalawa. Dalawa pala yung entry. I'm sorry. So, we have first the Golden Retriever. Next is the... <laughs> okay, I, I hope you enjoy our live stream, Miss Janine. Uh, I think mag group na din dito right after the Beagles is the... Ah, nag na din sila ng Terriers. So, uh, thank you, thank you all for watching our live stream nitong araw. And I hope na enjoy ninyo. And please don't forget to subscribe and like sa ating uh, YouTube channel. And once again, this is the Karina Mantulis at your service as ating uh, ECCI TV. Thank you so much and we will uh, be seeing you again mamayang hapon pag-start ng ating show. Maraming maraming salamat.